All right, and we're recording. Can you see me? <laughs> Can you see me? Can you hear me? I've disconnected my audio. Okay, thank you. All right, so I think we're good to go. All right. And I just want to make this full screen. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody for coming. We're so glad you're here. I think we've got about 10 people already, um, and I'm sure maybe some more will pop on, but uh, we want to be respectful for everyone's time and get started. So welcome. We're so glad you're here. Um, I'm Christy, and this is my friend Veronica, Hi. and our friend Trisha is joining from Utah. Love the power of the internet to bring us all together. Uh, just a couple quick housekeeping items before we launch in. Um, we are going to be monitoring your questions, so we'll be able to see the Zoom chat uh, box as we go. We will also be just, as we're not the ones speaking, we'll be able to check questions as they come through on Facebook. Please do put your questions either on Facebook or Zoom, wherever you prefer, and we'll be checking those periodically. We'll try to answer the top maybe two or three toward the end of the presentation. Um, even though we won't have time to cover all the questions live, do ask them and we will answer them on Facebook so they're recorded there after we end. We just, we are recording. We don't want this to go on and on so that if somebody is only watching the recording, it's three hours long and nobody wants to watch it. <laughs> so for those who have to miss, um, you'll be able to catch the recording on Facebook later in the event, or we can also email you the link to the recording if you're registered. If you have a friend who's texting you and saying they can't find us on Facebook, have them refresh and then the live feed should pop back up. Greg, I can hear myself, so I need you to either turn that off or what can I hear then? Oh, I can maybe hear my own. <laughs> what is that, do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to keep rolling. Um, so without further ado, we just invite you to turn off your um, notifications for your social media. Just get quiet, have a beverage that you love, um, grab a notebook and a pen, and um, as we're doing here, you can see our diffuser going in the background, maybe smell a favorite essential oil um, so we create that live class environment. Um, and I'm just going to go over the agenda real quick. Let me share our screen so you can kind of see where we're headed. All righty. Um, so this is kind of where we're headed for this evening. This is National Pet Month. So we're going to begin with some tips for new pet people. We're going to take about 15, 20 minutes or so and talk about paw tree, and then 15, 20 minutes or so and talk about what doTERRA has to offer. And at the end, we'll come back and we'll give away some fun prizes and answer some of your questions. So let's jump in. Veronica, do you want to get us started? Yes, I do. I'm so excited to be with you guys here today. And um, I'm just going to go over just, oh, yeah. I'm just going to go over a few tips with you. Um, if you are going to adopt a pet or already have a pet, um, it's just a, a quick little review um, for some of you, especially for some of you new uh, pet owners. So most importantly, you need to take the time to select the right breed for you and your family. Just do a little research, especially um, if your dog is, um, if you're looking for a dog that's high energy, like your border collies or labs, and you're someone who likes to exercise and get out, that's the type of dog for you. If you're somebody who's a little bit low key and relaxed, then maybe a pug or a nice Shih Tzu, uh, just cuddle up uh, with you. Um, if you are looking for a furry, fluffy friend, like your poodles or your retrievers or shepherds, just keep in mind that about every six to eight weeks, you're going to have to go get them groomed. And in between those grooms, you're going to need to be brushing them. Um, also, you want to think about where you live. Do you have enough yard space for your, your dogs to get their wiggles out? Um, making sure they have plenty of time to get out and exercise. You want to think about, are you going to be traveling? Is your pet small enough to travel with you? Or do you need to get a pet sitter to watch your, your pet or um, take them to boarding? You just kind of want to think about unexpected cost um, when, you, when you get a pet because pets are a lifetime commitment. Um, if you're going to be adopting a puppy, 
you're going to be getting shots every four to six weeks. And then after those shots, you're going to be uh, thinking about getting them neutered, spayed, uh, microchipped. Um, so just keep those vet bills in mind. And also for unexpected emergency visits, if your dog accidentally eats a sock or your cat eats some, you know, Christmas tool that they shouldn't, just keep aware that um, your little furry friends are going to need um, that special attention and care. And um, also you want to be um, pay attention to the food you get your dog, making sure it's the right food for them, reading the ingredients, making sure it's good for their their skin, their eyes, their teeth. And uh, most importantly, when you adopt a pet, make sure that you love them and give them plenty of affection. And I'm going to pass it to Trisha. Great, thank you. And funny enough, like my dog is barking in the background. <laughs> I hope that that's not too distracting, but she is a puppy and that's what puppies do. They do that best, right? They are silly. So know before you go, before you get a puppy, understand that they might be barking at inconvenient times. Um, but the timing of it, you need to understand the timing. Like, is this a good season in your life? Do you work a lot during the day? Is it a pet you can take care of? Is it, um, so the timing is, is critical. Do you have little ones at home? Do you have kids that are leaving? And so this is a great time to, to get a pet. Just think about the timing of it and your budget. Just as Veronica mentioned, there's a lot of upfront costs in the very beginning of a pet. And especially the nutrition aspect, if you're not used to buying nutrition for your animals, then, you know, that's a new, a new category of expense that you're going to have each month and the shots and, and even unexpected visits. I took our new puppy to the vet after we had her about a month because I thought she fractured a foot. She crashed into our wall when she was playing really hard and was limping for a couple of days. And I thought, man, I better take her in. And she was fine. She was totally fine. But you know, $200 later, they said, she's great. Good luck. You know, so just be, you know, expect those, those unexpected things. Um, allergies, make sure that you understand if anybody's allergic to pets, you, you may have a pet allergy, uh, someone in your family that, that you didn't know. So be aware of allergies that may exist. Maybe the pet might have allergies, which adds some ex extra expense. Um, and then just other considerations. There's a lot of other things to think about when you go out of town, what are you going to do with your, with your pets? Do you have someone that can help you with that? If you're working during the day, do you have someone that can come help take the pet out for a bathroom break? Things like that. So there's a lot to think about. So um, let's turn it over to Christy and she can kind of wrap it up with Love Them Naturally. Uh, you have the screen. Oh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> Sharing here. Um, well, thank you both because as our family is about to become a new pet owner again. Um, that was a lot of really helpful information. Um, I just want to close with an invitation to become a great label reader. This is something that we've learned to do in our family for ourselves. And I think it's something important that we can carry over to our pets as well. We just get exposed to so many toxins and non-foods in our environment and everything that's packaged in cans and bags and boxes and whatnot, um, that it just makes it even more important when we come across amazing resources from people we trust so that we can um, expose our pets and our families to products that are healthy and safe and natural. So um, tonight we're going to cover two ways that you can love on your pets naturally. First, um, we'll cover topics including nutrition and digestion, and we'll cover a lot of seasonal concerns that you might be having right now. Um, but Trisha is going to share first about pot tree, and then we will jump in and follow up on doTERRA. In the meantime, get comfortable, grab your pen and paper, and get ready to learn. Yay, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Christy. I appreciate that. And Veronica, oh I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. This is fun. And, um, and I love the whole natural approach. So that's what Pottery is all about. So I wanted to give a little brief introduction to Pottery and how I got started, because my guess is many of you have not heard of Pottery before. So this is your chance to hear a little bit about it. So, um, and there's the link you can see up there on the screen now, if you want to jot that down and, and check out the website later, or if another pet pro invited you to this event and they gave you their unique link, then of course, please use their link. But um, if it was someone I invited you or Veronica or Christy, there's the link there. Um, but Pottery, we've been around a little over four years. It's, uh, it's been a really fun journey. I've been in since the beginning. So I've been here since January, 2014. And I've loved this, this fun, different approach to 
to business. So I had a business before this. I'm a real estate appraiser by by trade, I guess. That's what I was um, originally before I found Pottery. And I loved real estate and I still love real estate. It's a fun hobby now. Um, but at the time it was my career. It was a business I had. I would appraise real estate. I would, um, you know, I'd work hard. I'd work really hard at what I did. And and there came a point where I thought, man, do I really want to be doing this when I'm 60 and 70? Do I want to be out measuring houses in the snow? And and uh, it just, suddenly things just started to shift in my mind. I thought, I really don't want to be doing this forever, but I, I kind of am stuck. What else, what else can I do? And at the time it was Christmas time and uh, the budget was a little bit tighter. In fact, go to the next slide and I'll kind of introduce my family at the same time because my family has a lot to do with this. So this is my family here, my husband, my five kids. At the time I had four children and here's our two puppies here, our two doggies. Um, but at the time when I heard about pottery, you know, I had four children. It was a expensive time with Christmas time. And I thought, man, we really could use some extra money. And so when I heard about pottery, I thought, great timing. You know, I'm a little bit slower in the appraisal world. And so let's just um, dive in and, and try this out. So, um, you know, fast forward to four years later, three, I guess it was two years later when I'm about to have my fifth baby. And for the first time in my life, I was able to take a maternity leave because with my appraisal business, you know, if I'm not working, I'm not getting paid. I do the job and I would get my, my check. I do the job, I'd get my check. So, you know, when I had those other four babies, I had to get back to work pretty quick because if I'm not working, then what? I'm not making money. So when I had this fifth baby, it was really, really neat to uh, be able to take a maternity leave. I took the entire month of May off. I didn't work. I didn't listen to any voicemails, emails. I didn't respond to anything. And I still made two really great paychecks. So it was my first taste in, man, this opportunity really... Is incredible so I like to highlight that because Pottery has a vision to help pets and people and and so that's how Pottery has helped me as, as an individual that I've been able to retire my business I've been able to enjoy maternity leave and vacations and things and not worry so much about the paycheck so let's go to the next slide and um, and so yeah there's my family brief intro but love my two puppies you can see the one that's older and the one that's younger but our vision here, as I, as I mentioned, is, you know, Pottery's vision is to create a world filled with unconditional love where pets and their people thrive. So I, I mentioned how I thrived, you know, but let's kind of dive into how the pets are thriving with this whole natural care. So if you want to go to, and um, let's go to a couple, let's go to the next one here. So let's talk about oral health. You know, a lot of you that registered for this webinar talked about some of the health concerns you have with your pet and oral health is a huge one. That's one that I hear often, you know, they're worried. I, I would guess that most of you don't brush your pet's teeth. Maybe you do, but a lot of people don't. And so good oral hygiene is really essential for these pets. And so the thing I love about the Pottery Dental Sticks, so that's what you're seeing here, is the Pottery Dental Sticks. And this is a really great natural way to care for your pet's teeth. It helps, as it says here, it helps with tartar buildup, bad breath, and oral health. And here's the three things I love about it. And I have my cheat sheet here, because I don't know everything. I like to look at my notes here. So they work on three levels, okay? Let's talk about that. The first one is they support good, healthy, vibrant teeth by mechanically breaking down the tartar off of your dog's teeth. So this is specifically for dogs. These aren't recommended for cats. And the ingredients help decrease the viscosity of biofilm on the teeth. We like to call this the Oreo effect. So whenever you eat an Oreo, have you ever tried to smile after and you look at someone, you're like, hey, and you've got all these like black things on your teeth? Well, that's the idea that the dental sticks have, only it's a good thing in this case, because that's breaking down, it's, pr it's putting on a, a layer that will help break down food. So if food is on the teeth, that layer is gonna help break it down so it doesn't stay. So it helps reduce that, um, the tartar buildup. And then the addition of parsley and spearmint are going to help with the good breath. So that's why I love this, because again, it's all natural. There's no corn, no wheat, no soy. There's no fillers, they've been developed by veterinarians and it's made here in the US. So if you don't love to brush your, tip, your pet's teeth and you're looking for some oral health, this would be a great, a great suggestion for the dogs. Let's move on to the next one and we'll talk about another issue that I heard many people discussing and it's the digestive health. So it says here, did you know GI issues are the most common reasons people see their vet? Did you know that? It is, I mean, people go to the vet all the time for loose stool, diarrhea, bad gas, sensitive stomach. And, and just in the email responses I got from those that registered, that was a primary concern for many, many of you, that the, the gut is, is the issue here. So this is Robin. This is a real person. I know her personally, and this has changed her life. And in fact, it's changed her, her vet's life. Her vet used to see her come in all the time. You can see that she has three big dogs here. She has actually 
quite a few and she loves them to pieces but was in the vet quite a bit because of the upset tummy issues and the loose stool and so once she found pottery in the gastro pro plus it changed her life and she's seeing far less visits to the vet so if we go back to that vision of pottery you know they want to create a world filled with unconditional love where pets and their people thrive here's the perfect example of robin loving that her pets don't have the diarrhea in the house out of the house that's not fun to clean up so it's helped her pets it's helped her she feels better her pets feel better everybody wins and so that's really what our, our vision is all about so let's go to the next one and we'll kind of focus again on on the gastro pro plus here um, next slide let me make sure i'm not missing anything in the process we're kind of stuck okay there we go so digestive health so here we are again. I mean, this shows several more of our products. We've got food, we've got treats, we've got supplements, seasonings, all sorts of things. So we're just focusing on the few. And I, I really wanted to highlight the digestive because like I said, it's the most common. And I heard a few of you that are, are here today that that's what you've struggled with. So um, here's another pet, Sansa, that had a very, had every issue under the sun, she says. So wouldn't eat her food, had the worst digestive issues where she was vomiting, had diarrhea constantly was itching and biting her skin so much that she would it would cause sores and she'd get infected and she was taking her to the vet almost every month. Since being on Pottery, she's become a new dog. I haven't been to the vet since and she's been healthier and happier, forever a Pottery customer. So again, this is, it says it's changed our lives. So I love hearing testimonials like this. I hear them often and it's it really makes me feel like, oh, what I'm doing is really making a difference because it's that all natural care and, and as the slide before said, you know, that these, the gastro pro plus is ideal for the sensitive stomach, the digestive stool or the digestive issues, loose stool, bad gas, eat stool. Did you know that was even a thing that pets eat their own stool? I did not know that until joining this, but it's actually quite common. It's really common. So now that I've been in this industry a little bit longer, I've learned that that's something that, that happens quite often. People just don't love to talk about it, especially the bad gas, that too. People will be like, um, it wasn't me, it was, it was the dog. So this gastro pro plus will really, really help with those, those things. So all dogs, cats of any size, any breed, they would really benefit from gastro pro plus just to help with overall gut health. It's got probiotics, prebiotics, digestive enzymes, and herbs to help um, balance that gut and make it just feel really, really good and make them happier, you happier. Again, made in the US, developed by vets, and just really, really good for your pets. So let's go to the next one. Jump right in to the next. I think we're gonna talk about our seasonings. So yes, pot herring superfood seasonings. So this is something that is really, this is fun. I love these, this product in particular because nobody else has it. So this is something that you've never heard of or probably never seen unless you've heard of pottery before. It's our paw herring superfood seasoning. I'm gonna hold one up here. Um, and this is actually one of our lucky winners is gonna get one. I hope you can see it because I can't see myself. So I feel like I'm just talking to my iPad. <laughs> so anyway, these are the seasonings um, and they're incredible. It's a powerful blend of natural vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. So it's a superfood seasoning that you can just sprinkle right on the cat or dog's food. Again, universal cat, dog, old, young, um, new, you know, prescription diet, non-prescription diet. Um, let's see. Oh, good. You can see me. Thanks, Christy. Thanks for the text. Love it. Um, so and look at these ingredients. As you look, I mean, this is what is packed in here. Doesn't that sweet potato look delicious and just healthy and vibrant, those colors, the meat? I mean, as I read the ingredients here, um, let me find them here. So ground chicken liver, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, kale, pumpkin, cranberries, organic carrots, pomegranates, blueberries and natural flavor does that not sound like something i would want to eat or i would want to like put in the microwave and cook not i guess not the microwave but put on my salad something so this is just one of our seven flavors the chicken liver medley and i love what it says here you don't like to eat the same thing every day and neither do your pets have you ever thought of that before i know a lot of people have like after we introduce this product i hear people all the day all the time almost every day saying I think about that. I, I hate feeding my dog the same thing every day, but I'm scared to change it because they'll get upset stomach or, you know, they just do so well on this. I'm not ready to change. So this is the perfect solution to help with boredom is add the superfood seasoning. And we have, like I said, seven different flavors, but it's packed with vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. So greens for the pets. We have greens for us, right? Superfoods for us. This is the superfoods for our pets. 
So let's go to the next one. I'm just about done wrapping up here, but I wanted to talk about one fun thing, shake up your meal time. So here's what I love. I love that you can make variety a big thing in your home. I mean, really what we do for our pets, they love us unconditionally, right? And what we do for them is we feed them, we take them on walks, and we love them back, of course, too. But I feel like feeding is such an important part of that bond, at least it is for me. And, and it's really the only thing I do for my pet. So I love the idea that I can kind of like cook for my pet. So we offer some fun recipe solutions. So this one, for example, is surf and turf. So the ingredients, beef, sweet potatoes, peas and carrot, paw treats. So our paw treats look like this. There's several different varieties here too. So you take paw treats, you add a little bit of salmon oil, you add some beef paw pairing, some chicken paw pairing, you, you just mix it together and you've got surf and turf. Let's go to the next one. Are there other recipes or is that the only one highlighted? I'm not sure. Turducken, perfect. This is the one I have all everything for. So chicken, apples, and kale, paw treats, okay? The turkey paw pairing, which is right here. You got the turkey paw pairing and the duck paw pairing. And you just sprinkle a little bit. So you sprinkle one treat, you crumble it up and put it right on their food. And then you sprinkle a little bit of the turkey, a little bit of the duck, and they've got turducken for dinner. And they love it. They inhale it. They go crazy for it, I'm telling you. That's why I had the dogs out. If they were in here, they would be scratching at me. My puppy would be jumping up. That tells me I need trading, right? We need dog training. But they love it, they go nuts for it. So it's just a fun way to add variety, but it makes me feel like I'm really cooking and preparing. But it's simple, so you don't feel like you're doing too much. You're just pampering them, spoiling them. That's the idea of this event tonight, you know, is spoiling them. So let's go to the next slide, and then I'm gonna turn it over to you, Christy and Veronica. So this month, I wanted to just highlight two, two of our, our products that are really great. Um, the 3 for 30 introductory offer. If you're thinking, God, I don't want to do the whole treat thing, this would be a great introductory offer because you get three for 30. Normally, it's $44.97. So this coupon here that's just good for this month only, use the code 3 for 30 with that link that, that we had at the beginning, and you get three pop earrings. And it's a great, great way to just try it and get some variety in their diet. If you're one that was really looking into the gastrointestinal issues, then this GI Feel Good set is a really great solution. It's $54.97 for the small or $74.97 for the large. You get the Gastro Pro Plus and you get the two paw pairings. So really two great options. Um, you can browse around later and of course ask questions if you have them. But I am just really grateful. Thank you so much, Christy and Veronica, for letting me introduce a little bit of how to feed our pets naturally and, and spoil them that way. And I would love to hear from you now how we can take care of them in the oil department because this is, I'm excited. I have not used oils on my pets yet. So tonight I'm going to be learning right along with everybody else. So I'm excited. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, we're hungry now. We are. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> that looked pretty good maybe for my dinner. <laughs> as well as for a pet. That was fun. Um, here are just a couple of ways that you can connect with us after the webinar tonight. Um, I think I mentioned at the top of the hour, my website is just a good place to get a thorough explanation of all the different membership options and kits, price per drop of oil so you can compare. Um, and then our Facebook group is where you want to come for ongoing education and training. So find us there. And we just wanted to introduce ourselves a little bit. Um, this is my family. Again, I'm Christy Gammon, and I'm married to Greg. And this is our daughter, Kate. She is nine and a half. And then we also have two sons, Greg Jr. and Zach, who are adults, so they don't live in the house with us anymore. Um, but all three of our children are huge pet lovers. Um, we don't happen to have a pet at home right now, but Kate is about to adopt a dog, possibly a puppy, in the next month or so. So pray for us <laughs> <laughs> as we embark again on this fun journey. Um, but in the meantime, she does love on every pet um, that she can come in contact with. Rabbit. Oh, um, the one on the left is our nephew, Dexter, and the one on the right is our niece, Piper. And I've been a doTERRA wellness advocate for eight years now. I consider myself an essential oil educator and enthusiast, so I'm excited to share with you all tonight. Hi guys, I am Veronica, and again, I am so happy to be here with you guys just to share um, my love and passion for animals and also for oils. Um, I am married to my husband, Ryan Cross, for six years. Um, I have two beautiful little girls. 
Olivia, who's three, and my Sophia, who is one. Mm -hmm. And I have always had a passion for animals since I was five, and I knew exactly what I wanted to do when I grew up. And I'm actually a veterinary technician. I've been doing that for about 12 years. And um, I had a dog, Cookie, um, who you can see um, in the right-hand side. I had her for almost 18 years, and i um, so lucky to have her. And right now, since I don't have a furry baby of my own, I pet sit. So I am um, honored to take care and love on the other pets um, that I pet sit for. So I get that privilege. And um, I've been using essential oils for seven years. So now I'm excited to not only share it with my human friends, but bring it to my, my furry babies. So we're going to dive into some recipes and oil safety. So... Um, Christy is going to give an explanation on some of the oils. Yes. Um, now, typically what we do if we are having a live class, just in case anybody's joining us who is brand new to essential oils, we like to talk about um, what are they and how do we use them. So starting from the top, these highly concentrated essential oils are the naturally occurring volatile aromatic compounds that you would find in the seeds, bark, stems, roots, flowers, and other parts of plants. They yield absolutely amazing benefits when applied correctly to both humans and our pets. Because they function at a cellular level within the plant and within our bodies and within our pets' bodies, they deliver powerful, safe benefits without any side effects. Now the photos that you see here are of a peppermint plant. The leaf on the left is as you would find it in nature. On the right, this is under a microscope. Those white sacks are where the essential oil is stored. Um, peppermint, as well as other essential oils, works for us much like it does for the plant, providing life and system support to the plant, protecting it from illness, disease, and environmental threats. If you're wondering about comparing essential oils to herbs, I always like to ask the question, how thirsty are you? Because in order to match the efficacy of just even one drop of our peppermint essential oil, you would have to serve or drink yourself 28 cups of peppermint tea. That's, That's a lot. lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's take out, just like we would for a class. Now, if you received our samples, if you registered early, then you have a little peppermint um, in a sample bottle. This is our peppermint essential oil. And we are going to just put a drop in our palm okay. and experience it together. Peppermint is an excellent oil to begin a class. It's going to um, just rub it in your hands like this and then cup over your nose. So and good. take a deep <laughs> inhale. And it's going to open up your airways so that you can breathe clearly. Um, it's also going to open up your mind to be able to receive and retain new information. So just want to do a quick disclaimer. It's not an ideal oil for your cats. Um, the reason why I included it in the sample is because I wanted you to have an amazing oil experience to begin the class. So it's fine for dogs, um, but as Veronica will go over in just a bit, there are some um, more sensitivities with cats, and peppermint is an oil that you probably want to avoid with your kitty cats. Um, so there are so many oils on the markets now. Everybody is excited about essential oils. You can find them in the grocery store and at Bed Bath & Beyond and everywhere you look, um, Michaels and so forth. But um, friends don't let friends buy essential oils from the grocery store. So we're gonna go over why you would choose doTERRA. Um, and the highlight is our CPTG, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade Standard, which guarantees that our oils are the highest quality in purity, potency, and safety that you can buy. Every single pack, batch of doTERRA oils is, uh, undergoes rigorous testing by a third party before it's bottled and sold. You can trust that nothing is being removed and nothing synthetic or harmful is being added. Um, we want to invite you to check out our Source to You website. That's what's reflected on the right-hand side of your screen. You're going to type source to youcom just as it's uh, pictured there. You can access the batch reports for every bottle of oil. Yeah, and we're just going to show on the bottom of your bottle here is a little code, and you can type that in on the one side of the Source to You website. Uh, you can type in that code and access all the reports from the testing that was done on that batch of oil. So that's fascinating if you want to look at that. Then on the 
other side of the website, it goes into what an amazing company that you've come across here tonight. Um, our co-impact sourcing program, which I could talk about for a long, long time, I'm gonna try not to, I get very passionate about it, um, is highlighted there. So grab your Kleenex and watch some stories of the amazing people we get to partner with to not only bring you these high, high quality oils, but we also um, have the opportunity to give back to the people who have been harvesting these plants for generations all over the world. We take care of them by providing fair wages and safe working environments. We love on their families um, by paying them year round so they can focus on that job that they love and not have to get side jobs or spend more time away from their family. They can just really focus on uh, planting, caring, and harvesting. And then also for their communities, we're able to give back in terms of having clean water, access to medical care, educational resources, and like I said, I could go on and on. Um, I do just want to highlight, though, through our Healing Hands Foundation, um, we get to partner with a lot of different amazing organizations around the world, making a difference in the world. And one of those is Operation Underground Railroad. And so I will direct you to our Facebook page where I just posted today about Frankie, um, one of our canine friends who we, doTERRA has donated the money to add him to a special canine unit. So he's a drug sniffing dog. He's a, actually, um, he will find those teeny tiny cartridges that hold film when they're tracking down um, sex and human traffickers. And so read all about it, but we're very excited to have Frankie as part of the force now and stay tuned because I believe a second dog is coming um, and I've heard that her name, I believe, is going to be Cinnamon Bark. <laughs> and so we're very excited about those developments. And just to give you a picture of the company that we work for, we just love the heart. Um, we just celebrated our 10-year anniversary. The only other company who can match our trajectory of growth in the history of the United States is Apple. So that shows where we're headed. Um, we are the number one essential oils company in the world and the number one network marketing company in the United States. Our mission is to empower a healer in every home, changing the world one drop at a time. Um, today, we're thrilled to be invited into your home so we can share these amazing oils. Um, we hope that you love what you have to learn and share with your pets. So I, with that, I will turn it over to Veronica. So I'm gonna be sharing um, some safety tips on your pets. And I already know that how much you guys, you love your pets, you're willing to do anything for, um, for them. And so I just wanna share with you guys how to use oils effectively and safely and just put your mind at ease while using our doTERRA essential oils. So for the first slide, you're gonna see a dilution chart. Um, you can um, take a picture of it or highlight uh, whichever size um, applies to your, your pet. And um, so with that being said, our oils are pure and potent. So you wanna make sure, and that's what makes them effective. That's why you wanna make sure that you use them um, correctly and uh, responsibly. So number one tip, never apply oils um, directly into your pet's eyes, ears, or genitals. That's a no-no. Um, never apply oils to um, our dog friends that have really long ears, just in case they shake their head and the oil can accidentally get into their eyes. So just, just be aware of that. Um, if any skin irritation occurs, you uh, want to use um, fractionated coconut oil or milk, uh, but never, never water. Um, excuse me. Um, and so also you don't see, um, our little cat friend on the chart, but dilution amounts recommended for human infants are also safe for, for cats. So, um, just to let you guys know, and I'm going to now go over some essential oils to avoid with dogs first. And there is a long list. So if there's anything you didn't catch, we can always post that on Facebook for you. So, um, and, um, that was posted on May 8th. So complete list you can get the complete, dogs. yes, thank you. So the first oil um, to avoid is winter green. Um, that can irritate um, your dog's gut, so just be aware of that. Malaleuca, which is also known as tea tree oil, can um, sometimes cause lethargy, fever, or vomiting. Um, birch, thyme, clove, unless you're using it for post-oral surgery care, then it's okay to use then. 
and oregano unless supporting a dog dealing with uh, parvovirus. So, um, and again, other dogs have sensitivities more than others. So just let your pet smell it and see if they like it. If they like it, then it's possibly something that you can use for them. And now for my, my cat friends. Cats have a keener sense of smell and they're a bit more sensitive to our oils. So their list is a little bit longer. So some of the oils that you want to um, avoid would be all citrus oils, um, malaleuca, thyme, clove, oregano, wintergreen, vetiver, peppermint, rosemary, white fir, cypress, and Roman chamomile. Um, and so you also want to keep in mind there's other um, blends of oils um, that might have some of these citrus oils in or rosemary. So just be aware and to always read the label so that um, you keep your, your pet safe. So since not all essential oils are safe for pets, we're gonna focus on the main three um, that we have today. And some of you received uh, lavender and frankincense in your packet, so you can pull that out. So lavender, as you can see, this is called the Swiss Army Knife of Oils, uh, the oil communication. So if you wanna just open it up, and take a sample. You can smell it, let your dog or cat smell it. It's very relaxing. Mm. And um, it promotes soothing. It's soothing to your skin. It's calming and relaxing. It reduces anxiety and promotes sleep. It's also some properties it has is it's antifungal and anti-inflammatory. So if your pet has maybe um, a swollen paw or cut, you can put a, a drop of lavender with a little bit of coconut oil and uh, just massage onto your pet and um, lavender will help with that. The next oil is one of my favorite oils. It is frankincense. This is the king of oils. And also um, my dog Cookie, when she was alive, she loved frankincense. It was one of the ones that she just wanted to lick up. So I knew this was the oil for her. Um, this is also called the oil of communication. Um, if you guys want to pull that out and smell it, it has a very earthy, earthy smell to it. And I really like it. It's very calming too. Um, mm. Frankincense is one of the most prized and precious essential oils. And that is because it's extraordinary health benefits. Um, it helps support a healthy cellular function, a healthy immune system. And one of the properties that it includes is it's anti-cancerous and antidepressant. So this is a very special oil. Um, the next oil is myrrh. And myrrh is um, a little bit thicker. And how would you describe the smell of myrrh? Well, it's a tree oil. So it's very earthy, <laughs> very grounding, and it's very sappy. And so yes, the bottle, it. this is one of the reasons why I, I didn't can, send it out as a see. sample. Yeah, check that out. It gets really crusty. And so I didn't want you to have that experience in the sample. but. It's very good. Yeah. It's called the oil of Mother Earth. So it, it very helps. Earthy. Yeah. yeah, I love the smell of it. It has a power uh, cleansing property, especially for the mouth and throat. Um, it helps with emotional balance. And one of the properties that it includes is anti tumor. And um, I was going to move that there. Sure. And I was going to say the dis disclaimer. Oh, yes. Just as part of a, our normal um, class policy, we always throw in our disclaimer that doTERRA doesn't treat, prevent, or cure disease. Um, prevention is taken care of by your just daily health and wellness habits and choices. Mm -hmm. Treatment, you're going to go to the vet, whereas yes. we would normally say, you know, partner with the medical professionals mm -hmm. in your life, whether that's you're just regular doctor visit or go to the ER in an emergency. Um, and then the body, the human body, as well as our pet's bodies are designed to heal themselves. So with the right amount of um, rest and pain management, they will always fight back toward health and wellness. So our oils are meant to be partners in health and wellness, just coming alongside to support the systems of the right. body and just encourage that health and wellness. Yes. And um, even if you just happen to have these three oils, these are a powerhouse and they're, they're just amazing to have. Um, so I'm gonna be sharing some recipes that you guys can um, take pictures of or write down and um, some common issues that are gonna be coming up for um, the season. There's, you know, the fireworks, 4th of July is coming up 
any rain, uh, rainy season with thunderstorms. So we're gonna um, skip to the next slide. Yes. All right, so as you can see, um, anxiety and sleep, there's some um, um, oils there that I'm gonna go over. So um, if your pet experiences any anxiety or has a hard time sleeping, um, you can use any of these essential oils that you can, um, like for lavender that I spoke about, you can drop it on your dog's stomach or on its paws and um, help it relax. You can diffuse it in your home or you can, like I said, let them smell the bottle. Um, one of the, the oils there is cedarwood, which is known as the oil of community. It promotes relaxation, thank you. Keeps skin healthy and it naturally uh, repels bugs. So this is a good one. This one also smells very earthy too. Thank you. Um, vetiverb is the oil of centering. It has a calming and grounding effect and it also supports the immune system. And as you can see that some of these oils, um, it'll say omit for cats and then you can still make the recipe without that oil. I like that. This one smells like hamster to me, but you get used to it. I, I like it. So. <laughs> Just a little. You know. Yeah, it's funny what the different smells trigger for different people. Yeah. Essential oils are a lot like perfumes, and they'll interact with your body chemistry. Oh, so something that you need or that works well with your chemistry might smell amazing to you, whereas to someone else, they might say, mm, not so much. So that's the beauty of having so many. If that one's not quite right for you or your pet, just move on until you yeah. find one that you love. <laughs> All right, our next one is seasonal threats. Um, sometimes you or your pet can suffer from allergies, itchy eyes, itchy skin. Um, so here's a recipe for that. Um, one of the essential oils on there is lemon. Lemon is very good, and our cat friends can't use this, but um, mm -hmm. our dog friends can. It smells like candy. It smells just like a Starburst, <laughs> exactly like a Starburst. Um, it's the oil of focus. It helps support a healthy respiratory function. It cleanses and purifies the air and um, it naturally cleanses the body and aids in digestion. Our next smell is eucalyptus. This one's very good. Um, it's called the oil of wellness hmm. and it promotes clear breathing. Um, it almost smells like uh, Vicks if you guys like mm -hmm. that smell. That's what it kind of smells like. Um, a property includes is, is an expectorant, so if there's um, any coughing that you or your pet are dealing with, you can rub a little bit of that on their chest with coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And I might have said this before, but some of these um, oils might have some of the same properties, so which is amazing because one oil can help with a lot of things. Yes. So um, peppermint, which you guys already smelled, mm -hmm. which is over there, is called the oil of a buoyant heart. Um, it helps promote um, healthy respiratory function, uh, clear breathing, promotes digestive health, and also helps uh, <laughs> repel bugs naturally. Mm -hmm. All right, our next one is staying cool and safe outside. Um, here, um, there's, there's some dogs and cats that like to go outside, so if that's the case, um, you can do this homemade recipe, uh, but doTERRA does have a natural bug repellent that is good for our dog friends and humans um, that you guys can spray on. This is called the oil of shielding um, and it has lots of different essential oils in it and it acts as an effective natural barrier against many flying and crawling insects and um, like I said it's safe to use on you and your dog but not um, for kitty cats but the one that's list um, that you guys can see on the screen that's safe for your cats so that's good to do. And this one has more of a citronella smell. It has other oils yes. in it. Yeah, it's it's got maybe 15 or so different yeah. oils in this blend. It's really amazing. And a couple quick testimonies. Kate's actually allergic to mosquito bites, and so she uses this exclusively in the summer preventatively. And if she happens to get one, you know, because she's a kid, um, <laughs> then we just use this, and it takes care of it um, for relief as well. And Greg has done some extensive mission work, both in uh, Africa and Haiti, where getting a mosquito bite is a big deal. A big deal. Um, and this is what he takes with him, and it works beautifully. So highly recommend yes all right our next slide um let's continue with staying cool and safe um you might have some dogs that like to run outside they're very active or your sports dogs well if you 
if they might have some sore muscles, you can use lemongrass. And this is the um, oil of cleansing, and you can use it to um, help with sore muscles. Some of our pets can get that. This one smells super refreshing. Um, some of the properties that it includes is it's anti-inflammatory, um, a sedative, and also a vasodilator. So just use a little bit of that, just one drop, coconut oil, massage your pet's sore muscles, add a little peppermint to keep them cool if they were running outside. Um, so that's a wonderful oil. Our next slide is fresh breath. So if you have a pet that might like to lick the toilet or eat things it shouldn't, <laughs> this is the recipe for you. Um, <laughs> Um, we have um, the oil, which is On Guard, and this is the oil of protection. I think I'm covering it. There we go. If you guys can see that, I don't know if you can see it. It is super amazing. It smells like you can smell the cinnamon in it. It's very good. Cinnamon and clove. Yes, and clove, wild mm -hmm. orange. This one also has. Um, this is an oil blend, so there's lots of yes. oils in this. Um, so it helps support a healthy immune system and also acts as a powerful surface cleaner. It's uplifting and very energizing. So this is the kind of oil that I like to use um, well, for myself and then for a pet during the sick season. So, yes. but you can use it for the fresh breath. And for my last slide um, for digestion, I'm gonna talk about uh, ginger. And this smells very good and fresh. Ginger is the oil of empowerment. It helps support a healthy digestion, reduces bloating and gas. So if you get any pets that get into something they shouldn't and they look and they're feeling gassy, or you can tell if they're doing little toots, <laughs> ginger is the oil for them. Um, and it's also a natural laxative. So a little bit goes a long way. Um, and for any further questions, um, Christy's going to um, answer those for you. And also, if you guys have any questions, we're going to try to answer for the answer those uh, for you guys at the end of this. Yes. Sorry, going they're in the back, get... I believe. In that All right, Christy's going to take over. Sorry, we're just <laughs> coordinating. Um, we wanted to just do a quick announcement. If you haven't um, checked in officially for the webinar, either on Facebook or in Zoom, make sure that we have your name. Um, make a comment or something so we know you're in. Um, we're going to put your name on a ticket to draw for prizes tonight. Thanks. Do you have the list? Do you have the list? Do you want to get the tickets for us? I would love to. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so what is the next step? Um, we hope you've liked what you've heard this evening, and we would love to see you support your pet's health and your family's too um, by getting a membership. So maybe you're feeling overwhelmed before I get into it. We covered about 10 or 11 oils tonight, um, and even though that's only scratching the surface, um, that might seem like a lot to you. So um, just to encourage you, you're part of a family, part of a community. Make sure you connect with us on Facebook. Um, we're all about ongoing education. Yes. Even after learning about oils and using them in our families for seven, eight years, I, I, I know I speak for you yes. as well as myself. We learn something every time we get together and have a class. So we just invite you into this community where we're all learning and growing together. Um, with that being said, you can join our team with a membership. It only costs $35 to sign up, and then you receive wholesale pricing the same as we do. That's 25% off retail costs on all essential oils and products. Um, when you join the Loyalty Rewards Program, you can access special collections that are actually priced below wholesale, which is amazing. You can earn up to an additional 30% off, plus get free credits for shipping um, and participate in a free product of the month club, which is awesome. Um, for your second year and beyond, the price actually goes down to $25 a year. Um, but in addition to your membership, you get dun, 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 a 15 milliliter bottle of peppermint um, which is a $20.50 value. So it's like you're only paying $4.50 for your membership ongoing. 
if you choose a kit, this one on the screen is a great choice, um, then the $35 is waived and um, the oils and products are per priced below wholesale. So this kit's very popular because the diffuser actually ends up being free. Mm -hmm. And then you get all of those oils, which include many of the ones that we talked about. So you'll see there, um, frankincense, on guard, lemon, lavender, and peppermint are all included in that kit. Now, if there are some oils that you were thinking about that we talked about tonight that are not included in that kit, like our friend Fido here is thinking about that tarot shield, you can add that a la carte to any order. And you don't have to choose a kit at all, actually. If you want to pay the $35, you can totally customize your order and pick up the vetiver and the cedar wood, you know, some of those um, additional oils. You can always do an a la carte order. Um, if you'd like to learn more about our incredible business opportunity, we would be thrilled to talk to you about that. But when you sign up, just know that there's no pressure to start a business. You can choose wholesale customer or wellness advocate like we are when you sign up. Um, so there's no pressure either way. Whatever the next step is right for you, we are here to support you. Again, we're so glad you're here tonight. And uh, we just want to start wrapping up uh, to be respectful for your time if you've put in any questions. And I think we have names to pull for prizes. So Trisha, if you want to unmute and come back. Yeah, hey. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. are so awesome. This is so fun. Because <laughs> we, with Pottery, this is new, new territory. Like we don't hold classes, you know? So this is yeah. really fun and informative. So I appreciate, again, appreciate you guys letting me jump in and be part of this today. So yes, connect with me here. You can see my link. Um, Holly's here. Hi, Holly. I see your comments. So glad Holly's here. Um, connect with me awesome. or Pottery or whoever the pet pro that invited you. If there was another pet pro that invited you, I want to make sure that you have their link. But, um, but mine right here is Pottery.com forward slash five star. That's where you can see some of those options that I showed previously and, and just learn more about our, all of our products in particular. So. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and then we have, as I mentioned before, the website address. Um, find us on Facebook. And if you do choose to enroll, I want you to contact the person who invited you. That might be either Veronica or myself or another friend. Yes. And then we will direct you. Um, if there were any other questions or comments, go ahead and enter those now and we will check on those. Um, Trisha, did you see any questions coming in that you wanted to answer? No, I think Holly's just making sure she's in the drawing, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Greg. Greg, hey, you got Holly's great. name. Okay. Do you have Holly's name on the list for the drawing? Let's see. I have Holly. Holly Feather? Holly Feather. Holly Feather. Oh, he's right. on it. We got Greg, you. You've done this before, right? This is not your first time. <laughs> yes, yes. And we did have a question come in that, um, that you could possibly answer. Yeah. Do you guys have um, something for throwing up a fur balls? Yes, we yeah. do. Yay. Look right yeah. here. I actually have it right here. Yay. So hair ball support. This question, this sorry, is from Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Okay, perfect. So yes, hair ball support plus. And I hear amazing things about this. I personally don't have a cat, but I, I have customers that this is a constant issue. And so it's just a chew. This one's not open. I'm going to open it for you though. Um, actually, I'm having a hard time opening it. So just take my word for it. It's a little <laughs> tiny bite-sized piece, but that you would just add it to their food. I have one customer in particular that their cat was not really a fan okay. of the thing. And so she used some of the pop herring seasonings and that that help. Oh, so, with the, with the hairball? With the hairball. Yeah. Perfect. But it, uh, I mean, it's, it's like a miracle worker. So if that's something you struggle with, look for this on, yes. on that link, use that link and go search by product hairball support plus. Perfect. So, Thank you. Yeah. Great question. All right. So um, we'll yeah. While Greg finishes putting all the names on the tickets so we can pull, I just thought I would spotlight, um, the products that we are going to be drawing for tonight. So we are creating some fun sprays. This one is a calming blend. And this one is allergy relief. And this one is a stinky pet deodorizer. Oh, I need that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. any of these would be safe to spray on your uh, pet's coat. Or if they're a little more sensitive, um, or if you just wanted to try 
uh, maybe not putting it on the pet to start, you know, baby step it in. You could spray a blanket yeah. or bedding or a favorite toy on or yourself. Put a little bit on the <laughs> collar. Um, any of those things to just um, maybe take one step back from actually putting it on the pet um, to get started. And for the moment, these are not filled yes. because we figured it would be better to know who's winning. If you have cats or dogs or a mixed family, right. then um, we'll put the oils in here that would be best for your pet. Yes. Um, and just a little note uh, we wanted to mention during the webinar, these are two ounce spray bottles. All the recipes that were quoted on screen were for four ounce bottles, which is about, it would be a little bit bigger than that. Um, so a little fatter and maybe a little taller because um, you just don't want to overdo it on the oils. And then for a grand prize, we are going to be giving a full bottle of lavender, which is great for you and for cats, for dogs, dogs. for anyone you have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there was a question that came in. Okay. Let's see. And Sorry, I know that Carrie was saying she can't see me. She can hear me, but she can't see oh. me. So maybe change your view. Oh, I don't know. That's Yeah, weird. let me... Um, oh, right. And refreshing because my sister couldn't hear and then she refreshed and it yeah and it came back okay, maybe that will help hopefully you can yes. see me now yeah. um, let me I'll highlight really quick what I'm gonna give away so no. whoever the lucky winner is we'll start with the small prizes first so I couldn't think of anything that would be really fun so I'm hoping this will help with your shopping experience so I have five dollar gift cards three wow, yay. Okay. <laughs> so there's there's for that and then the grand prize is a full-size pop herring bottle and I'll let you choose your flavor so one of the seven flavors you can choose so full-size pop herring for the grand prize and and five dollar gift cards That's so great. perfect yeah all right all right are we ready Greg, are we ready, ready. we're ready okay oh yeah oh I'm ill prepared I need a basket or something what do we have um, here, take one of those Sorry, bins, Sorry. those little stripy bins. Yeah, and just dump it. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Oh, no. I'm dumping it right Yep, there. dump it right in there. That's fine. Like the last oh, okay. Yes. All all right. Right. Shake it real good because it's all in there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's my first okay. names yeah. are fine. Yeah. And this one's going to be for, is it? Hours do, first. Okay, this is going to be okay. for the allergy aid. And this is oh, for me. <laughs> Yay! Well, we don't have no. our names should be in there. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Maybe I won you now. <laughs> this is Carrie. Carrie. This be Carrie Runzel Oberly. Carrie Runzel Oberly. You get this. Woohoo! Allergy aid spray. And let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments in the chat um, if you have a dog or cat or multiple pets. Yes. And then we'll know how. So, Carrie, you're getting the allergy aid. Yes. And then the next one up is oops, calming. All right. And that is going to Molly. Molly. Uh, that would be Molly Wellman. Molly, Molly Wellman. Wellman. Yay. Oh, she's, so, she's got two small dogs. Okay, Carrie perfect. Does. Oh, yeah, we can see comments coming perfect. in now. Now that we're not screen sharing anymore, we can actually see what's going yeah, on. That's raised her hand. <laughs> will you guys, will you post the recipes for these, though? Mommy, I would love mommy. to have them. I would love to have oh. them, like, in the yes. event. Will you post oh. those? Absolutely. Yes. Make some. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And, whoops, I already pulled it. This is Stinky Pet, and it goes to... Amanda. Amanda would be Amanda Carpenter. Amanda Carpenter. Carpenter. Yeah. Yay. Yay, Amanda. That's the one I'm rooting for. I need the recipe for that. I mean, that's one of those things, <laughs> as we talk at the beginning of the webinar, the things you need to plan for. I did not know that dogs that need to be groomed, like that our hair, not the fur, they stink really bad, yeah. like all the time. Right. You need to bathe yeah. them regularly. So you do, and, and brushing them, especially because they're undercoat and everything like that. Yeah. You it's brush. Crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think so it's good to bring if they go swimming after they get in your car, mm -hmm. spray them. Yeah, be good. love it. So great job. I just saw a good question come in that we can take a second to answer. Um, what brand of coconut oil? Uh, this is actually doTERRA's 
fractionated coconut oil. Um, the fractionating process keeps it in liquid format. Um, so that's we highly, highly recommend that. Um, and then when you're making the spray bottles, I get these from a, command, a companion company called Aroma Tools. They come in the cute colors. Uh, doTERRA just now started um, our own DIY line. Mm -hmm. And so we have some spray bottles and sampling tools available to us. And I think they're either black or brown yeah. bottles. Um, so you could get them directly from doTERRA now as well. Um, and then when you're doing the spray bottle, we actually don't put coconut in here. We put um, the drops of essential oil and then fill the rest with distilled water and then you'll want to shake it up each time yeah. before you use it to make sure it's all combined and then spray. So great questions. All right, and then we have grand prize. You want to dun, dun, I do. Lavender. Dun, dun, dun. Does that say Aaron? And that goes to Aaron. Aaron DeVassi. Aaron DeVassi gets the bottle Yay, of lavender. Congratulations. Yay. All right, and now we got three five dollar gift cards. Gift cards. This is Cassandra, and that would be Cassandra Smith. Cassandra Smith, congratulations! Hey, yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and another one goes to Destiny. Destiny. Destiny Gaither. Destiny Gaither. Congratulations. Hey. Them. And then you're going to go for the other two. Alexandra. And Alexandra is LeClef. Alexandra LeClef. Congratulations. Hey. Is this for the grand I'll email you. I'll email you the code because there's just like a code on the back. Okay. And so I'll just email it to them. So I'll grab their email from you, Christy. Is this yes. for the shaky shaky? Yeah, this is for the pop herring. Yes. The yep. pop herring. <gasps> Does it say Clarissa? Let me see. Clarissa. Clarissa. Is that, that my? Is correct. That would be Clarissa Sanchez. My best Yay! friend, Clarissa. You won. My friend. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Let me just fun. check. I love winners. This is fun. That's yeah, it is nice. fun. This is so fun. Um, okay, well, that's all we have for tonight. If there are additional questions coming in, go ahead and post them in the Facebook event, and we will find them there. And I'll sort through the Zoom chat to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah. Trisha, did you have anything else? No, that's it. Just thanks again, you guys. I really are you ladies, I should say, not you guys. But thank you. <laughs> this was really helpful for me. I learned a ton. Someone just, yeah, Holly just said that great event. Um, it was just really, I appreciate it and love this dog and cat loving community. That's, that's what we're all about. So thanks. We're going we're gonna to do this again. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. And honestly, Veronica, this was your first time too, so right? It was, it was. So I'm excited. I'm glad that everyone got to experience this with me for the first time and um, yeah. sharing also your product with us. Yeah. Well, you did amazing. I, you would never know it was your first time. Rocking it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have Thanks a great again. night. All right. We'll see Bye. ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.